Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be going back to the 1980s. We're going to be looking at an old judo world championship. And of course, if you want to watch more of them, I suggest that you go to Superstar Judo and watch from there. And uh, it's a lot of great highlight that you can see. So today what we're going to see is very diverse judo. You have techniques from all of the spectrum from the from the te waza all the way up to the sutemi waza so i'm not just going to show uh, one fight and then give my biased opinion i'm going to show you everything i'm going to show you lightweights heavyweights a match with full leg grabs and of course also women's so we should be uh, looking at a wide range and of course keep in mind back then there was no golden score meaning people actually had to grip fight and try to throw as much as possible and you had like i said a wide range of techniques from uh, shoulder throws foot sweeps leg grabs all of it even good groundwork so we're gonna see a far more dynamic uh, judo and also just so you see that the upright posture is important and none of it looks like wrestling so let's start with the light weights uh, first so again no golden score meaning time actually matters and immediately very dynamic a natural posture going in very quickly in order to do it very spectator friendly and you have to be quick on your feet and uh, attacking also here notice someone is bent over pushing away with the hands and as you would expect passivity gets penalized as it should and here you will see uh, gripping, two-handed gripping, one-handed gripping, and uh, a lot of exchange. Here you see close attacks. This uh, Uchimata, like uh, Maruyama, did it uh, recently. So, of course, sacrificing techniques, uh, a lot of movements. After they fail, they get back up, continue attacking. So there's just a lot of dynamic throws here you see, and acrobatic skills in order to prevent the score and then engaging in Neiwaza, so here, spins him around, and then cartwheels, here you see, look, Ochigari into Kibisu Gaishi, let's see it again, so they're spinning, they're, he's keeping him moved, and then ho here you see, reaps the leg, grabs the ankle, tries to finish, so this is uh, a combination, obviously, so it looks like this, but rather than picking the knee he picks the ankle so he goes for an inner reap as he is circling him around and then as the leg is up in the air grabs the ankle in order to of course get a good score so um, when you can attack the entire body obviously the creativity is going to be far bigger you're going to have a wider range of techniques and also when your time is limited and you know it you're gonna be far less busy with little gripping tricks that gets you uh, shidos and etc but rather gripping in order to dominate and throw so here he's trying to release the leg in order to pin he looks like he he is finishing the fight and it looks great for him however he gets turned over and gets uh, pinned very dynamic newaza and also very dynamic uh, stand up so now let's go to guys that are a bit heavier you can see also harai goshi and gripping and really trying to put someone down very much like the heavyweights would do big harai goshi not just now with teddy in the paris olympics so harai goshi is a sweeping hips and it is a classic technique very beautiful you see it in heavyweights and also it can be followed with a sacrificing technique the harai makikomi so you will see a wide range of techniques so the idea is you'll have you'll still have an upright posture and also not everyone will just be milking the uh, leg grabs so uh, the i like to call this at this point in time an irrational fear you have also foot sweeps gets back up immediately continues very dynamic uh, again, their time is limited and they know it, so they have to attack as much as possible. Here you see the man in the white belt uh, pushing away, bending over, trying to reach uh, for the legs. 
completely defensive and passive and uh, of course he gets penalized so again it's an irrational fear so and here goes for a massive scooping throw Sukuinage. so you have a wide range in this fight alone you saw foot sweeps you saw uh, Harai Goshi and here you see a massive pickup with a scooping throw so very dynamic judo even for the heavyweights and uh, again the scooping throw is very versatile it can be used as a counter technique for a lot of uh, throws with very bad gripping so again bad gripping is still discouraged because uh, you have these types of counter you have the risk of having your entire body attacked so it's not just gripping and attacking even if it's bad you have to take this into consideration of course it's not just uh, so now we say the gripping has evolved sure but it evolved for a multitude of of goals and one of them is causing the other to look passive not necessarily to attack and here you see again let's go back to some middleweights or lightweights and you see Uchimata's followed by uh, Neiwaza attempt freeing the leg and uh, maintaining the sleeve in order to get uh, the pin and here he gets it it's uh, an Ura Gatame and here he tries to leave the surface I don't know the rules back then how much but I'm guessing they were stopped if they leave the mat area anyways so here you see it it's called Ura Gatame it's fairly effective in a judo context but self-defense not really because you're turning away you're uh, turning your the back of your head you never know what can happen now here's a little trick you don't hug the leg you actually grab on the knee level of the pants and you push away because you don't want them to close up on themselves and then from there they'll have far more control and power you have to keep the leg as stretched as possible which will maintain the pin longer so of course flying arm bars were a thing now i've said this many times flying arm bars are all you need is one broken neck and one finished life to know just how bad it is and we don't want that honestly and the banning of it personally i support it because we want to be very dynamic very active and very effective and offensive but we don't want any major injuries so here you see Mewaza attacks are highly encouraged and of course bad uchimatas and bad throwing attempts can be uh, I would say penal not not penalized punished by um, leg grabs so that's a very good incentive to have them back so here you see he was look he is pushing the ankle so he doesn't have the leg control or the neck control and still the referee let him work to turn him over and then get the arm bar and of course the uh, submission at the end so you see it's dynamic in all aspects on the ground in the stand-up uh, they're not much concerned with little gripping tricks that the general spectator do not see they're more interested in having grips to dominate in order to throw and you see far more throwing attempts because time is limited because let me tell you this if there's golden score then what is the meaning of a time limit please tell me this and also when they go really far they'll just try to make each other look passive and it's exhausting for later rounds and then you win by shido and it's boring so everyone wins you have dynamic judo and spectator friendly judo so here let's go to the women right versus left type gripping two-handed gripping uh, ashiwaza oriented uh, japanese style judo here uchimata kochi and then kibisu kaishi so you have to be careful the entire body has to be protected of course um, here you see it that is the ankle pick as known so all of it again i suggest to go to superstar judo you can purchase them singularly i'm not sponsored i'm just saying that you can have access to a lot of great highlights from the past now this fight is all leg grabs and let's see what really took my attention is the natural stance and the upright posture 
and still you can avoid uh, scores by turning away and this is not wrestling you have to turn away and you can be safe and uh, still now shooting of course I understand that people dislike it for many reasons because people will try to avoid gripping uh, will try to avoid any type that looks like judo in order to just have that one attack that they can go and do but again historically wrestlers tried to come in and employ this tactic and still Japan was ranked number one medal wise world championships and Olympic Games so again it's an irrational fear is it a worry sure if someone is effectively or actively avoiding the grips and trying to do this then the referee should be the wiser and penalize them here again straight up uh, straight strength uh, sorry natural stance and gripping and then going for the knee pick and uh, heavyweights at the same time so this is a fight where it's all leg grabs and still very dynamic very spectator friendly doesn't look like wrestling from the posture and still uh, you have very fun judo to watch so this is the knee pick or kochiki taoshi um, you can grab it from the inside or from the outside and you can drive it through there is no pickup otherwise it would be a scooping throw so here uh, if you can't they don't want to go for the fireman's carry you bring it to the other side now here they, they continue there is gripping another knee pick so again very dynamic it goes for the leg again but counters it with a sacrificing throw i do this uh, in jujitsu all the time when they go for my knee so you have very diverse judo again another heavyweight fight where you see uh, what we call classic judo with uh, drop seoi nage heavy guys of course you're gonna see a, a makikomi attempt and then finally uh, let's see a an attack again look big guys not always going for the legs or something uh, slow so gripping and then moving dropping the neck down and affecting the posture and uchimata throw so you see you have a wide range of everything but they all have something in common they're all very offensive uh, the the defensive got penalized as you just saw and also you have very dynamic neiwaza at the same time so it's a very diverse judo very spectator friendly and when you have a limited time things will have far more value not just in judo but life in general so if you have anything to add let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening